We just got another trailer for Princess Peach Showtime showing even more outfits and transformations into the game. And I am here to show you not only those outfits and talk about the extended gameplay, but also talk about every single outfit and extended gameplay in the game. Yes, we'll be talking about everything you'll be doing with every single transformation and pretty much just talk about them all in one giant video. So if you're excited for this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Princess Peach Showtime and Nintendo in general. But let's not waste any more time, let's jump into this. Actually, I lied. Let's waste a little bit more time. Most of you guys watching this video right now are not yet subscribed. We are trying to make our way to 300,000 subscribers, so please, it helps a long way. Thank you so much, but into the video. So we're gonna start off with the new ones because it's the most interesting and probably why you are here in the first place. So the first one we have is Figure Skater Peach, which she's allowed to spin around and actually skate on the ice. It looks like when she spins, she actually can take out enemies. You can see her spinning around or taking out some type of mini boss creature or some type of big enemy as she's spinning him around the ice and then twirling him, probably defeating him. From the extended gameplay, we get to see Figure Skater Peach not only gets to take out enemies, but you also get to twirl on specific light patterns on the ground and it's probably some type of little mission that you have to complete where she has to finish on the yellow one where she'll jump into a twirl in the air. She can also skate through and pick up different NPC characters to skate behind her. Then we have a scene of her jumping off of a ramp doing a twirl in order to grab a crystal out the air. There's a scene of her spinning out yet again another big enemy. Next up we have Dashing Thief Peach, where she'll be using lots of grappling hooks and zip lines in order to escape areas. For instance, in this scene, you can see a little enemy robot police guard try to chase her down as she's grappling up to the top of the stage and something is breaking the floor below her and rising, so she has to continue to grapple higher and higher before she's either chopped up or smashed. Here with the extended gameplay, you can see her sneaking around the outside of a building and grappling more grappling hooks to make sure she doesn't fall and it wraps around the building in a 2D section. Here we see Peach doing something on a machine in order to lower the lasers in order to steal the bag of money or jewels that's coming across the top of the screen in a cage. There's another scene of Peach rushing towards the top and as you can see it does look like some giant spikes are coming to hit her. It ends with a 2D flying section where you get to use a paraglider in order to ride the gust of wind across the stage. You also get a clip of what looks like all the bad guys keeping and securing all the treasure into some building where Peach is actually infiltrating and stealing the treasure back for the good NPCs, so she's kind of like a Robin Hood. Perhaps one of the most confusing ones so far for me was Mermaid Peach, because I'm not 100% sure how this works. It seems like Mermaid Peach is able to swim in the water, of course, but she's also able to sing, which in turn can control some of the nearby fish or creatures, kind of Aquaman style. So it looks like she's actually singing to the little fish and actually controlling them and making them swim around in order to collect the coins. In another scene, she's singing in the direction of the music note tadpole looking fish that are coming towards her in order to collect them all. You can see the microphone in front of her, so clearly this is some sort of performance. The extended gameplay looks like we have to save the NPCs from these villainous purple bubbles, but it looks like when we control the fish, they're actually being controlled in the background, which now makes a lot of sense. There's things in the background that we can't reach, and we have to control the fish in order to reach those collectibles, like we see the fish knocking down this platform on the enemy in the background. There then is a scene of Peach singing in order to get the eels to move out of the way, and then a scene of her singing to some type of glowfish, and I'm not 100% sure what's going on with this scene, but we're just gonna have to wait and find out. And the final clip we get is that performance, where once again it seems like she has to sing in the direction that the fish music notes are coming in, and the bigger fish she actually has to sing longer in order to fill up a certain glow bar on the fish, so yeah, it's just kind of like a timing mini game where you have to sing in specific directions where the fish are coming at her. And the final new transformation we get to see is Mighty Peach, where she turns pretty much into a superhero. Here we can see her literally kick UFOs out of the air and pick them up in order to throw them at other enemies. You can also see the UFOs are going around and sucking up the NPCs which she has to save. You can see her flying in the air in a 2D section with her jetpack where she's able to fly and punch down the UFOs and even punch the smaller enemies into the ones in the back which is pretty daggone sweet. And of course we have some more extended gameplay. For instance we have Peach in the laboratory actually transforming into the Mighty Peach. You see a clip of Peach picking up a bus and actually using it as a bridge in order to help everybody cross. We then have a clip of Peach running around and chasing a giant purple alien creature where she has to beat up. Then we have a clip of Peach blasting through a tube in order to fly into the air with her jetpack, which goes into the 2D flying section, where she's also fighting what seems to be a giant boss in the air, which is a giant robot with giant arms that she has to punch back his fist, kind of DJ Octavio style. Those are all the brand new transformations and extended gameplay shown 
showing off for Princess Peach Showtime, which might be the general list of all the transformations that we have in this game so far. So what I wanted to do was kind of show you all the transformation trailers and also all the extended gameplays for those transformations. Sit back and enjoy all the Princess Peach Showtime transformation trailers and extended gameplay clips, all for you guys. Ha ha ha! 
Well, those are all 10 of the brand new transformations in Princess Peach Showtime. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think about all these transformations and would you want to see any more added to the game? Will there be one giant final one for the final boss battle or maybe even a combination of all of them in order to take out the final boss? I'm very curious for that. But thank you for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.